we are now in the plaster room, so not everything is squeaky clean in here, but there's a lot of good work that happens in here. So I am going to go from the process now of this is planter flexed, we've got to get it to 90 degrees. And it doesn't just, just stay there by itself. So what will happen is an orthotist will get it close to 90, and then currently this is how we do it. For example, this just is what it is. Sometimes the, the staple doesn't catch, but sometimes it does, and that's a super important one right there. So you can see that it already wants to hold the position, and that's as much as I really need. I could do more staples. You know, maybe that would be good. Maybe it's a little excessive. I don't you know, necessarily know, but the point is we use staples here to hold the mold, the impression where we want it to be. So now if we poured plaster into here, Bad, bad idea if we don't take care of our, our holes here. So you're gonna watch me just in general. We would wrap up this, this area right here with a plaster bandage and it'll, it'll become solidified. Also up here, we're going to put a strip because we don't want fluid pouring out of the mold here. I'll show you what I mean. Okay, something like this. So this is gonna take care of our holes we put in there at the ankle. Okay, we'll let that set up. It just takes a minute or two. And then we'll also cover the hole here at the toe because we're just gonna have fluid plaster flying out of there. So we, that we cover that up and let it get sealed. So we're gonna do that very quickly. Okay, might be too long, but that's okay. So I'm just going to show you for an example of what we do as an orthotist or prosthetist to help minimize some of that fluid escaping. Okay, so we're just going to get this in here like this. Make sure the two materials meet. Okay. So it is still wet, but this cast right here is much more ready to go now. Now we're ready to pour this with some plaster. If you look real close at this, you'll see some parts that are of a, more, a double layer, some parts like for right here, if you can even see it, it's more porous. So you know what's going to happen already. Plaster is going to come out of here in its liquid state. So we need to do something else to help seal that in there as best we can. It's never going to be a perfect process where you don't make any mess or you never have any drips come out, but I'll show you what I mean here. So we use another material. It goes by a lot of different names, but some people call it flex wrap. Just anything to help hold in potential plaster that's going to come out. I like to do two layers, it's just me. So we're going to go all the way down. So now we have the cast in our uh, our our bin here, we don't want any egg, any plaster to be coming out, so we put it in kind of a concealed kind of a scenario inside of a sand here. So our cast is ready to go. We're going to now start the process of going from the negative to the positive. This is currently how things are done. So this is our conduit pipe. It's going to go in, okay? We used this pipe before. They're great. They can be reused a lot, but the bottom of this has to be bent because we don't ever want this thing to come slightly loose and it's spinning or anything like that. So the slight bend in the bottom is crucial. So what will happen here in a moment is you'll see me, I'll pour this full of plaster. We will put this, this inside of it, but you never want the, the conduit to be kind of poking out of the heel. So I'll actually pull it up just slightly 
So when we suspend it horizontally later, we, we have the foot and not a foot and a conduit sticking out. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to get our, use water and plaster. I'm going to get that ready here. This is kind of an experience based thing. Not the act of putting the plaster obviously into a bucket of water, but knowing how thick it needs to be. Because if you try to do this and it's thin, well, it will set up, but the problems that happen afterwards are things that would be something you don't want to deal with. Like if it's a real kind of thin process, uh, I should say a real thin mix that you have, what will happen is you go off later, you take that, you take this, this material right here off of the positive cast and it'll just break at the ankle, for example. So you can't have this too watery, otherwise it presents a problem. All right, so we're ready to go. We're going to now pour our cast. We're pouring that mold, we're putting our pipe in, and you might be thinking, well, we're not all the way to the top yet, but I did that on purpose because I want to show you something. So I'm doing this process right here to get rid of the bubbles that are inside this cast. What you can also do is we reuse this kind of thing, we can put it inside, and it'll just become part of the next mold that we use. Okay, that's just a general example. That's what we were talking about with that TLSO cast that you can reuse kind of the AFO parts in the TLSO. So I'm just going to pour the rest of this real quick. So instead of a person sitting here holding this tube or this conduit pipe in the right position just an inch off the bottom, what you can do is use a tool like this. And then when you're ready, you press down, you feel the bottom of the cast. And now what I'm going to do is actually just bring it up an inch and we can walk away and come back later and it'll be all set. I'll actually probably fill in a little bit of this gapping. And there we go.